Hey guys, today's video is going to be a super simple recipe and it's basically the most simplified version of a clay wash that you'll probably ever find. It's only two ingredients and I wanted to make it because a lot of my recipes have tons of oils and nutrients and it's basically like my ideal recipe. But I wanted to show you guys that you really don't need a ton of ingredients in order to make a great product. You can make it at home with one or two ingredients and it doesn't have to cost a lot, it doesn't have to involve a lot and it can be really, really simple. So that's why I decided to simplify this version for you and this is actually the version that I have been using for a really long time and I haven't updated it and the reason I've been simplifying it is just for time reasons a lot of times I'm doing my hair late at night and I'm just tired I don't want to mix a ton of things and so I found that I can do a really similar recipe that works just as well with only a couple ingredients and while I was on this new routine I had stopped using it for a little while but it's back into my routine just because I've really missed it it's just such a gentle cleanser. It leaves my hair feeling really clean and moisturized and it works really well to detangle. Conditioners work really great as well. It's just, I have a thing for clay. I just, I just love my clay washes. So here is the simplified version of my mud wash or clay wash recipe. And I hope that it inspires some of you guys who haven't tried it yet. Maybe you thought it was just way too complicated or maybe you couldn't get a lot of the ingredients. As long as you can find a clay, you can make this recipe. So anyway, I'm gonna stop talking now. Here is the recipe. I hope you guys enjoy. All right guys, so like I said, we're only using two ingredients here. You're gonna choose a clay. My personal favorite is Rosal clay, but you can also use bentonite. And I'll put a link in the description to my favorite vendor. And then our second ingredient is a liquid and I prefer aloe vera juice. But if you don't have that, you can just use water. All right, so time to put this together. I'm gonna use one fourth cup of my clay. And of course I'm using Rosal clay, but you can use bentonite if you prefer. And then we're gonna add our liquid. We're gonna do one fourth cup of the aloe vera juice. But again, if you don't have aloe vera juice, feel free to use water. I've used both and they work perfectly fine. So equal parts clay to equal parts liquid. If I have like medium to long length hair, if you have shorter hair, use less. If you have longer hair, use more. Now just grab a spoon and mix it together. I'm just mixing it until all the clumps are gone. You'll see that this turns into a super smooth and creamy clay wash. And here's an optional third ingredient, which is not necessary at all. But if you wanna make it therapeutic, you can grab an essential oil like this lavender here and add a few drops into the mixture to make it smell really good. Again, you don't need to do this. You can keep it as a two ingredient recipe. All right, so let's grab this and head to the shower. Starting up my scalp, I rub it in and as you can see, it's really creamy and goes on super smooth. And then I just carry whatever leftover I have throughout the rest of my hair. Just work it into your scalp and then rinse it off and that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this super simple recipe and I'll see you in the next one. If you missed my last video, I showed you guys how I organize all of my hair products and my hair tools and my hair accessories inside of my very small apartment closet. If you guys wanna check that out, you can click the video on the top. And if you guys are into daily vlogs, you can come hang out with me and the family by clicking the link on the bottom. Bye.